Hey guys, I'm Justin with CBI Off-Road. Today we're working on a 2000 model Toyota Land Cruiser LC100. We're putting a Prinsu roof rack. It's a bolt-on rack. Um, we'll go ahead and dive into the install, show you how to get it up there. All right, so step one is get everything kind of laid out. Uh, we're using a moving blanket here to protect all the pieces and the finishes. Here's our hardware bag. Um, this is our Loctite we're gonna be using. Um, this bag's got our spacers and our hardware that actually holds it to the roof itself. Um, this here is the hardware for our wind deflector. And these are gonna be the bolts to hold the cross pieces in. And lastly, these are our tie down hooks that are gonna go on the top. So we'll go ahead and uh, open everything, get it all prepped and start assembling. Okay, so I've opened up the bag containing the bolts that hold the cross pieces to the side rails and I'm getting them all prepped, putting on the flat washer and some Loctite so they'll be ready to go for assembly. All right, so we got all our T30 Torx bolts uh, prepped and ready to go. So we're just gonna install these hand tight on our uh, cross pieces. So they're gonna install on the smaller slots, not these wider ones. And if there's a, a mounting foot next to the smaller slot, you might wanna wait on that one just because it'll get in your way when you're trying to mount it to the roof itself. Um, so we're just gonna install these where there's not a mounting foot right now. All right, so our next step is removing the factory roof rack. Um, we need to remove these covers. There's uh, basically at all four corners. Um, pretty simple, I just have a plastic pry here um, to get them up. You can use a flathead screwdriver um, if you like also, but we just need to get under uh, any of the edges and just kind of pry up. There's two kind of clips that hold it down. So we just need to get those to um, release. Sometimes um, the backside here leaves you enough opening just to get it up out of the way. That'll expose uh, two bolts. They're a Torx uh, 40 size. So once we get all the covers, we can get these bolts off and then remove the uh, factory roof rack. All right, so now that we removed our factory roof rack, the next step is we're just gonna clean this area where the uh, old roof rack mounted, make sure we get all the dirt, any adhesives off. Also, there's these little spacers um, down in here where the uh, roof rack mounted, and I'm just gonna pry those up and clean that area so that our roof rack mounts nice and flush in that area. Also, um, the middle, we have these little um, tabs that you can pry up and expose these two 12 millimeter bolts. We'll need um, these out to mount our Prinsu rack as well. All right, so we finished cleaning the roof and prepping it. So now I just kind of staged the hardware at the mounting locations. Um, two bolts and two spacers are gonna be at each location. And I have our RTV silicone ready to go and the tools to install. So these mounting bolts, they're a half inch uh, bolt head. So you can either use a ratchet or a ratcheting wrench, makes it easy as well. So with everything prepped, it just makes everything go a little bit easier once you get the rack up here. So now we're ready to grab the rack and get it in place. Okay, so our rack's up here. Um, I've got all the holes uh, siliconed and I've started all the bolts in the mounting locations. Um, we're not gonna tighten them down yet. We wanna jump down and check alignment to the vehicle, make sure everything's straight and lined up, and then we'll come back and tighten these down. 
Uh, make sure you use a ratchet or a wrench to tighten these down. Don't use an impact because you could strip out um, the bolt or the uh, factory threaded hole. So just be careful, don't over tighten and should be good to go. So we'll go ahead and check our alignment. All right, so now that the roof rack's tightened down, we've got it aligned just right. Um, now we're gonna fill in the blanks on the cross pieces that we didn't put in on the ground. Now's a good time to put those in. So we'll put that in place and get these bolts started. All right, so now we're gonna set up our wind deflector. So there was one cross piece that is not black. It's kind of this silver finish, and that's uh, gonna be the cross piece that mounts to the backside of the wind deflector. Um, how that wind deflector mounts is we have these T-nuts that just slide into this channel. Um, you want to put the threaded part facing up, and we have the Phillips head bolts. You put a washer on it, and the same Loctite we did on the Torx 30s, we're going to put on this. Um, and then our wind deflector noise trim, we'll get that installed and uh, get this all mounted up. All right, that sums up our install of this Prince roof rack on the LC100. This truck's ready for a rooftop tent or whatever you can throw at it. Thanks for watching. If you got any questions or comments, uh, leave us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe our videos. Thanks for watching.